Welcome back, people. We're back with another video. Let's jump straight into this. Make sure to tune in till the end because this has got so much information in this video. So sit back and enjoy. So everything's Taurus fields. The Earth is a Taurus field. Everything's Taurus, which is electromagnetic field, electric and magnetic. The center of the Taurus field is where the, the two opposing forces meet in the center. And this is what creates the plane of inertia, the dielectric plane of inertia. Okay. You got redshift, blue shift, positive, negative, south and north pole, right? This is what the ancients were showing with the tree of life. As you can see here, this is the plane of inertia and this is the Taurus field. Everything consists of this. Everything is a Taurus field. A atom is a Taurus field. Okay, now the inertia is the zero point. So this plane is a zero point. It's the balance between two poles. Okay, now this creates matter because matter is two opposing forces in motion equalized. So these two forces coming together is, is what creates matter on this physical plane. And this is why we can't see the electromagnetic field because it consists of one of the elements, which is either electric or magnetic. But when they combine together, it's what creates this physical plane, which is physical matter, which is light in motion. Now, everything is one. Don't get confused by duality. Duality is two opposing forces, but them two opposing forces are created by the same substance. It's two aspects of the same substance. So for example, water and ice are the same thing. You know what I'm trying to say, but it's two aspects of the same substance because all is one. The whole universe is one. All goes back to the one, which is God, the creator or magnetism, whatever you want to call it, because magnetism pulsates. Electricity has two poles, redshift, blue shift. Okay. So redshift, blue shift is electricity and electricity vibrates and all vibration always comes back to a standstill point. But magnetism is what pulsates. This is why your heart pulses. You breathe, which is a pulse. This is the breath of the universe, magnetism. Now, this is why the earth is green, okay? Earth can be spelt heart. If you just move the H to the beginning, it spells heart, okay? Because the heart is the center of the Taurus field, which is the heart chakra for us humans, okay? We consist of the same field, as you already know. Heart being the center, which is green, which is the center of the seven colors. The center of the seven colors. This is the most powerful chakra in your body. People think it's the crown chakra, but it's the heart chakra because it's the center of the Taurus field. You must align them all and combine them all into one, which is the heart chakra. Now, earth is green. Nature's green. Okay, this is because we live on heart chakra, the plane of inertia. It's the center of the Taurus field. Okay, and... This is what the uh, Egyptians called Isis, which is nature. Nature is balanced and nature is female, mother nature, because it, it, it looks after us with the, the fruit it grows with abundance and the water. It's a mother, it's a female energy, mother nature. And this is the symbolism of an equal balanced arms this is the scales it's balanced mother nature is balanced this is why the sky is blue because what comes after the heart chakra blue the sky is blue we live in mid god this is what the ancients called mid god you don't have to take this tree literally it's a metaphor we live in mid god where both positive and negative duality here now mount maru Mount Meru was known as the center of the earth, okay, or known as Hyperborea. And this is the North Pole, the electromagnetic North Pole. 
But when I say Mount Maru, it's not an actual mountain. They weren't saying there was a real mountain in the center of the earth, a magnetic rock. No. The plane of inertia, okay, there's something called a hyperbole, hyperboloid. That's what it's called, a hyperboloid. And this is the center of the torus field. And this hyperboloid is what is in the shape of a mountain, you see? So if I go to this next one, they say hyperborea on this map. Why do they call it hyperborea? Because this is the hyperboloid in the center of the torus field. And this is the electromagnetic mountain, a metaphor. Mountain, what they're metaphorically saying, this is the electromagnetic mountain at the center, the double vortex, the center of the torus field, which is the north pole, pole. All of electromagnetic energy. So this is why they call it hyperborea. It comes from the word hyperboloid. And the center of the earth is so sacred. And these, they symbolize this with obviously the North Star, which is Polaris. And this is where the swastika comes from because it's the four seasons moving around the North Star. This is the Big Dipper constellation moving around the North Star, which is Polaris. There's that pole again, pole, magnetic pole of the Taurus field. And this is where the green, emerald green, or borealis comes from. It comes from this center hyperboloid at the center of the Earth, where the most electromagnetic energy is stored, the center of the plane of inertia, the center of the plane of e inertia. This is the all-seeing eye as well. As you can see, they've got the sun, the moon, this is the Masonic cosmos, the sun, the moon, and the all-seeing eye, because the eye is Polaris, the eye of the stars. It's all the big eye. Now, the eye means a lot more as well. It's not just that. There's different ways you can interpret symbols. Now, this is the Emerald Tablets. Deep in Earth's heart lies the flower, the source of the spirit that binds all in its form. Okay, the flower of life is thine own place of thine spirit and stream through the earth as thine flows through thy form, giving off life to the earth and its children, renewing the spirit from form unto form. This is the North Pole. This is what he's talking about. He's talking about the Aura Borealis. Aura Borealis. It's the earth's aura. Emerald green. Heart chakra, plane of inertia, green, earth, heart, you see, all related. Now, there's many, many symbolism of this, so much symbolism of the ancients, the seven layers of heaven, seven layers of heaven, which are the seven planets, okay? These planets are the solar system. It's the solar system because we are the soul, we are the sun, the soul. And we're inside of a solar system, which is the seven planets. That's why the seven layers of heaven. Okay. The rings, the rings of Saturn, the rings of the planets are moving around us. Okay. So this is what the ancients were depicting in their cosmology. Now, this is the Hebrew cosmology of the earth. This is the Mayan cosmology of the earth. You see, it's all an enclosed system. We live inside of a giant torus field. All is atum. It's what the ancient said, the uh, ancient Egyptian said. All is atum. Atoms, atoms are torus fields. Don't be, don't be tricked by the, the modern science today the, with the current model of an atom. It's completely wrong. They're hiding the torus field. They're hiding the electromagnetic field, which is in everything. Absolutely everything is in motion and motion comes from this field. And you see, this is the, this is upside down, but this is the, the I think it's pretty sure it's candles, but the seven candles, the seven planets, the seven Elohim. You see? It all goes back to the stars and the heavens. Now, this is how the Earth really works with the stars on the outside of the cosmic egg and then the Taurus field spinning around the sun and the moon, the positive and the negative charge. The sun gives you energy, the moon takes your energy. The moon controls monthly cycles. Moon is mon. This is etymology. Mon, month, money, demon, monster. Stir is star, moon star. We are all stars. 
youngster, minister, superstar, a Hollywood star. We're all stars. We come from the stars, which is heaven. Our soul comes from the stars. You see? We are the universe. The, the, the image of man is made in the universe. We are a microcosm of the universe. The universe is a macro. We are micro. We consist of everything. The body, mind, and spirit. The sun, the soul. Moon, the mind. Earth, the body. Body, mind, and spirit. We have 12 systems in the body, which are governed by the 12 zodiac signs. Starting, starting at the Aries, which is the, the Ram, the Ram of God, all the way down to Pisces, and Capricorn, kneecap. It all goes back to the stars. We are the stars. We are the universe. Everything is inside of us. Everything. I would say the Temple of Solomon, the Temple of the Soul, and Man, the Soul, the Temple is the body, the Soul is the Soul, and the mind is the, is the mind, the temple of the soul and the mind, body, mind, and spirit. We consist of the five elements, air, spirit, water, earth, and fire. We consist of everything. We are the universe. We're made in God's image, which is the universe. You see? Now, everything goes back to the stars. The ancients works with the stars because the stars govern everything. They govern the systems in the body. They govern your life. This is why your zodiac is so important, your sign. Each zodiac has a specific element associated with it as well. Aries, which is the first sign, the Ram of God, the Lamb of God, which is a fire sign. Fir, uh, fire, first. Fire, first. F-I-R, this is etymology. The Cerebram, Ram, which is in the brain. Aries, the Ram control with the head, the face, and the nose upwards. So it controls the cerebrum, the Torah. The Torah, which is, I'm pretty sure it's a, a Hebrew Bible, which is the Taurus. Tornado comes from the Taurus field. You see? Everything's inside of you. It all goes back to the Taurus field, and the Taurus field is everything. Now, like I said, 12 zodiac signs, 12 systems, 12 cranial nerves in the brain, the 12 disciples of the Bible. All symbolic. Have to read the Bible properly. Now, this center at the center of the earth, right? This is what's stirring the ether. And the ether consists of the, uh, the, the four elements. Because there's five elements. Spirit can be called ether. People call it spirit or ether. Ether is pure potential, pure potential, pure energy. It's what connects the astral to the physical. It's the, it's the dimension between the physical realm, which we're on, and the astral. So it, it has pure potential. It's pure energy. This is why we say either, I either want to go there or there. It's connecting two scenarios. That's what the ether is. It's connecting the two worlds, the astral and the physical. The center is like the cosmic womb. There's a black hole in the center. This is the, the, the center of the Taurus field. This is the womb of creation. This is the womb of creation. And inside of this, this black womb, the five elements and everything's being stirred around. Everything's in motion. Light is motion. Everything's motion. Now, like I said earlier, Light crystallizes into physical matter. They are the same substance. Spirit and matter are the same substance, but different variations, different aspects of the same substance. Low vibrational uh, spirit turns into matter. High vibrational matter turns into spirit. Or light, whatever you want to call it. Matter is light crystallized. This is where we get the seven metals from. The planets, the planets are light. Specific frequencies and vibration of light. When these lights, or the planets, materialize, met, material metals, materialize, they turn into the seven metals. Saturn turns into lead. That's why lead is red. Saturn is red. The sun turns into gold. That's why the gold is yellow, and the sun is yellow. You see, Saturn is the time god. 
What happens in autumn? The leaves turn red and they die. This is why Saturn, Satan, Time God, the Reaper, everything is crystallized till it's death and then reborn again. You see? Rust. When things rust, it turns to red. Because it's Saturn. Saturn crystallizes everything. He's the Reaper. He comes around in winter. You see? He's Satan. Jesus and Satan, the Sun and Saturn. They say we live in a solar system. The solar system. I think I've already just broke this down. The seven planets are the seven chakras. Everyone already knows this. But I'm going through it anyway. But this is where we get the seven planets from. And the seven metals. You see, all the ancients knew. It was an enclosed electromagnetic system. It's not a spinning ball in the middle of space, people. They want you to believe this so you get stuck in this material world. Because if you believe everything, everything's material, you can never affect this plane effectively. You can never create your life effectively if you don't understand the planes of existence. Because the mental plane is a higher plane. And it breaks down and it controls the planes below it. The mental plane, hold on, I've got it here for you. The mental, the astral, the etheric, the physical. The etheric connects the physical to the astral, but the mental, the mental is what's above them all. You see? Now, it's important to understand this. It's important. However, the ancients always talked about the enclosed system. Only NASA, which is introduced around the Roman times, not NASA, but the globe Earth was introduced in, around the Roman times. Okay? By these Masons. These Masons introduced this because they wanted to take over the minds of the masses and control them. These people worship the physical realm. They know how it works. They know the ins and outs of it. They know how to do the magic. They know how to do it all. They understand it all. That's why Masonry have to take the oath. The oath of not speaking. You're not allowed to speak about anything you learn about in masonry because they're, they're discovering the truth about your mind and how it creates reality and stuff like that. So this is the masonic cosmology, the five-pointed star, the five elements, the checking board for duality, positive and negative, the two aspects of every substance. This is another ancient painting depicted the firmament, the stars inside the firmament, the sun. You see, the people, the ancients worshipped the sun because it's so important for sustaining our life. So the only reason we're alive is because of the sun. But then people think it gives you cancer today. They brainwash you to think the sun gives you cancer when it's the number one source of all life. They want you to believe it's a big, spinning, dangerous ball in face. It's not. It's here to give us life. It's here to, it's God's sun. That's why Jesus is known as God's Son. It is the Son of God. God created that to sustain us. You see? So it's important you understand the true, the true cosmology of where you are. Because if you don't know where you are, you are depleted of all of your morals. You're depleted. You're demoralized. You're lost. You don't know where you are. You don't know where you exist. They, once you accept the globe model, the heliocentric model, you will subconsciously think that you come from nothing. This is why they implemented the evolution theory just after the globe model was introduced by Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin came in after the globe model. He's a mason. He was another Freemason and implemented evolution where we came from monkeys because they want you thinking less of yourself, so they can manipulate your mind. You see? They want to manipulate your mind, and they have done since you've got here. Since you came through that portal, you were manipulated from that day to believe this, believe that. The true cosmology, the truth will set you free. You will understand things better. You will feel better in yourself when you know the sun is here for you. You will feel better in yourself that you know that you didn't come from a monkey. You were created as a human man, a manifester, a creator. 
You're so intelligent. Your mind is, is, is amazing. You can manipulate matter, mind over matter. See? Thank you all people for tuning in. Tap in with yourself. Love yourself. Find the truth. Spread the truth. Nothing dies. Nothing in this creation dies. Everything's energy. Everything's light. Light can never die. You're a light being. That's why it says Q. Q man. Q is light in Hebrew. Or Latin. You're one of the two. You are light. You're a light being. You never die. Ever, ever, ever die. Ever. Stop thinking you're going to die. This body will die because it, it contains electricity. And the electricity always goes back to a standstill, standstill point because of vibration. Electricity vibrates. You are pure light. You will never, ever die. Thank you all people. God bless. Make sure to like, subscribe and share.